Travis trip. One of the most dangerous things we do every day is when we start and drive our cars. I'm shocked to find out how many sailors and marines die each year in car crashes. I've heard it's more than 100 a year. Now, I'm not an expert. I'm just a concerned citizen and a supporter of our military. I'm proud of the work our sailors and marines do for our country, and I truly want you to live long enough to enjoy the freedoms that you fight for. So do me a favor. No, do your family and friends a favor. When you're going on a trip or driving around, wear your seatbelt or a helmet if you're on a motorcycle. Pay attention to road and traffic signs and don't drive aggressively. Too many of you are dying on the streets, and believe me, you don't want to make the nightly news that way. Now it's easy when you find resources for your family's growing needs. Check out the new and improved Military One Source website. The site has a new search engine and fast links that will instantly connect you, counseling options, and more. You can even take Military One Source with you on the go. See what's new at militaryonesource.mil. And that's what's happening on the home front. Welcome to All Hands Update. I'm Petty Officer Matthew Halls with your headlines from around the fleet. The Navy is reminding sailors that when it comes to perform the serve, being proactive may be the key to ensuring your future in the Navy. PTS applications must be submitted 12 months prior to your end of active obligated service as extended date or projected rotation date in order to ensure the maximum number of looks. For more information, see your command career counselor. With states recently legalizing the recreational use of marijuana, sailors must remember the Navy has a zero-tolerance drug policy, and that hasn't changed. Any sailor caught using or possessing marijuana will face the maximum punishment under the Uniform Code of Military Justice, which can include a dishonorable discharge. For more information, see Mill Postman 1910, TAC 146. You can read more about these stories at Navy.mil. From All Hands Update, thanks for watching. I've invited police officers from around the globe to explain how status of forces agreements affect host country laws. First up, Japan. So for the men that you talk God in my sense. Uh, okay. Next up, Italy. In tutta Italia che devono obbedire alle leggi locali. Right. Let's hear from the UK. Whether you're up the junction or down the docks, you better toe the line or you'll be up in front of the chocolate. Right. So, so there you have it. No matter where you are, respect the laws of your host country. The test of power and determination returns down under when the top players in the world converge for the first major of the season. The Australian Open. Coverage begins January 14th on AFN Extra. Welcome back to the Edge Show. With $60 billion in relief money on the line, the Senate had done its job. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers in a couple of minutes. I played in five Pro Bowls, and I have a kind of cool stat. I'm like the all-time leader, first-time leader for linebackers. I don't know, but whatever that's worth. But I used to be an Army Reserve guy. Armor. Yeah, baby, steel on target. That's what I'm talking about. Parachute for two. That's exactly right. Definitely cool. So here's something to think about. The Navy and Marine Corps lose more than 100 troops every year in traffic crashes. And for a variety of reasons. To see no seat belt. Come on. Drunk driving? you got to be kidding me. No seat. Now, when you fumble in the game, you always just have to fumble. But when you fumble behind the wheel of a car, you are absolutely squid. So, please, think about your family. Think about your friends. Always stand playing your trip. Quit the belt. Rest when you need rest. Don't drink and drive. Come on. <laughs> already know about the Air Force Aid Society, but did you know they also provide educational assistance? Go to AFAS.org and click on Education Programs. Here you can check out the grants, scholarships, and educational loan programs that you and your family could qualify for. And that's what's happening on the home front. The success of today's nuclear fire submarines can be traced back to one man, Admiral Hyman Rickover. Rick over graduated from the Naval Academy in 1922 and completed submarine training eight years later. In 1947, Rick over became intrigued 
to the possibility of nuclear submarine propulsion. He directed the Naval Reactors Branch in the Bureau of Ships, helping to develop the world's first nuclear-powered submarine, USS Nautilus, commissioned in 1955. In the years that followed, Rickover directed all aspects of building and operating the nuclear fleet. After 64 years, he retired from the Navy in 1982 and died four years later. His name is memorialized in the attack submarine USS Hyman G. Rickover and Rickover Hall at the U.S. Naval Academy. Admiral Rickover left his impact on the Navy as the father of the modern nuclear fleet. I'm MM1 Joe Hackett. Just as the Admiral made a difference in his day, I'm making a difference today. Catch the NBA every Wednesday and Friday on AFN. Thanks for saying with us tonight. If you ride a motorcycle, you know there are risks involved. But some of them are within your control, like riding too fast. Riding when you're too tired. But one of the biggest risks. Paying attention to the road. Focus on your ride. Your ride is safer. Greetings from Vicksburg, Mississippi. Greetings from Pagosa Springs, Colorado. Aloha from Hollywood, Hawaii. I don't think you're going to go far. We're going to think about the old gift to us and not as the gift of freedom. And we have a very, very strong opinion for our military personnel. We thank you for what you're doing. Please come home, Facebook. From Mississippi. From Colorado. From Hawaii. Thanks for serving. Alcohol abuse coupled with major life stresses or depression can put people at high risk for suicide. Alcohol impairs their judgment and makes it difficult for them to see solutions to their problems. Alcohol can cause them to see something reckless and hopeful. It makes me more prone to suicide. If you know someone who's abusing alcohol, don't keep it to yourself. Get help right away from your chain of command. As I travel throughout the fleet, I'm frequently asked 
How do I become Nick Hawk? How do I become a Chief Petty Officer? How do I become an effective sailor and leader? Regardless of the end goal, my response is and always will be the same. Work hard, stay out of trouble, and be a good and decent person. Aspire in all you do to achieve these standards, and it is likely success will follow you wherever you are. Thank you for your service, and I'll see you in the fleet. This Marine Corps officer is best remembered for his actions during the war against pirates on the Barbary Coast. Three destroyers in the U.S. fleet have borne his name. A distinctive sword he was given by an African prince served as the model for the ceremonial sword Marine Corps officers carry today. Lieutenant Presley O'Bannon, the Marine whose name is forever linked to the shores of Tripoli. And we always love hearing from our viewers on Twitter and our Facebook page. Many of you are talking about the scathing criticism of Super John Boehner uh, following uh, Republicans like New Jersey Governor Chris Christie uh, for holding up relief for victims of Hurricane Sandy. 